In this video, we're going to have a look at the TK Inter label widget. This computer program will place a label onto a window. We have the usual three lines of code we require when we use TK Inter. These two lines of code are responsible for placing a label onto a window. I want to start by looking at this line first. Here we can see that I've produced a variable name label underscore one and that's being assigned this. Now what's going to happen here is that this is going to create an instance of the label and this instance is going to contain the text hello world and if you look here you can see that that's achieved by writing the word text and having assigned to that the string hello world. Here if you look carefully you can see we have my window. Now my window is the instance of the window that was created on this line and of course you can see this is the name associated with that instance this is the name that's bound to the instance of the window and placing this name here is informing this instance of the label that it is going to be associated with this instance here the window that this name is bound to now I'd like to stress that when this line executes the label comes into existence but it doesn't have a visual presence so where is it well it's in the computer system somewhere well it's going to be in the memory it doesn't appear on the window ie it's not displayed until we tell it to be displayed and this line is responsible for that and you can see that we say let's pack label one the widget label one and this pack simply means place this label onto the window which window this one the one that label one was associated with when we actually executed this line when this program executes what we will see is this we'll see the window and you can see the window has the label hello world this computer program shows a slight amendment to the one just discussed and the amendment is shown here you can see that the string is now hello world how are you today with a question mark now this string is obviously longer there are more characters so when this program executes what we're going to see is this and the label you can see is here and it's saying hello world how are you today now look at the size of both windows and you can see that this one is wider than this one and that's simply because the window says well I've got a label I better resize myself so all of it can be seen now the use of this pack method is a crude way of placing labels onto screens but it's one that's good enough if you're just going to throw together a very simple graphical user interface we will look at much better ways to place widgets of which a label is an example onto windows later in the playlist using things such as grid this program creates two labels this is the first label to be created and you can see that it's to be associated with my window which was created on this line and the text you can see is I am label one if we come here we can see that we've created another label and again we're associating this label with the instance of the window to which the name my window is bound and here you've got the text saying I am label 2 and on these two lines you can see the first one is going to pack label 1 onto the window and this one is going to pack label 2 onto the window so if we see what the runtime for this is you can see it here and you can see that it says I am label 1 I am label 2 now the following program does more or less the same the difference is however if you look here I'm packing label 2 first and then I'm packing label 1. So the runtime for this one is shown here and you will note that label 2 appears here because it's saying I am label 2 and this one is I am label 1 and label 1 is packed here. So the packing is dictated by the order in which the program statements here are executed just a quick word on terminology when you refer to a window it is often described as being a widget when you refer to a label that also is often referred to as a widget a label widget 
and the window, often called a window widget. Likewise, a button, if you put that onto a window, it can also be referred to as a widget. If I come here, what I'm creating is an instance of a window, and that instance is going to have this name bound to it. But when the window is over here, it's an example of a widget. So the term widget and objects and instances are often used to refer to the same thing. So on this line, for example, I'm creating an instance of a label, in other words, an object, and that object can also be referred to as a widget when it's placed on the form. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video?